Hey, what's up? Ooh, a little dirty there. All right, well, uh, today didn't go as planned as I mentioned yesterday. I was gonna film a little bit at work, but um, it's somebody's house and I don't know, I don't think it's appropriate, um, you know, filming someone's house and whatnot. Anyway, I just pulled up to a uh, shopping center. There's a Target nearby. And I just emptied my, uh, my little trash can that sits over there. Yeah, so, yeah, today didn't really go as planned, but um, <sighs> I went to my storage room. Anyway, it's, it's a big story. But anyway, I, I went ahead and took care of the job this morning, and I just took care of myself, man, I, for the rest of the day. I enjoyed a movie and whatnot. But anyway, I pulled in over here. Oh, by the way, I guess I should mention I, were, I watched uh, uh, the newest uh, Divergent movie. I can't remember what, what the uh, title is. What is it? Mm. Allegiant? Uh, it was all right. It was pretty good. But anyway, back to uh, my story here real quick. Empty my trash, and I'm pulled over behind the uh, shopping center. And check this little beauty out. Let's go walk up to it. Let's see what it's all about. I'll get in. I'll get into another point why I wanted to turn the camera on. But I saw this van. I was like, "Damn, this thing's pretty, pretty sweet looking." Uh, I think there might be someone in there. Pretty dope. I don't know if I should say hey. hey. Or what? It'd be cool to talk to him though. It's a pretty badass looking van. But you know, if someone is in there, they might not want to be filmed or whatnot. But that's a cool ass. Anyway, I, I was sitting here a little bit longer, hoping that the uh, the owner of this beauty came out. Again, I don't know if he's inside the van or if he's working in the area. Uh, but check them rims out, man. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! Nice. Yeah, that's a nice. That's a nice looking little van there. You know what he's missing though, man? He's missing the spinners. You gotta get some spinners on the on the wheels there, man. Then you know you you really definitely are a player when you got the spinners. Ooh, someone's calling me. Yeah, that thing is dope. I like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and fast forward into the night here. Um, uh, spent the rest of the day uh, hanging out with the uh, family, with the kids and whatnot. And um, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm trying to trying to think like what my uh, upcoming week is going to be like. I'm hoping that I can jump back onto the project and uh, and finish up. Um, I might do it this weekend. Most weekends I, uh, I take off and I just, I spend all weekend with my kids. Um, you know, <clears throat> during the week I don't really get to see them every day like I used to. So it's, uh, it's a real joy to me having the weekends with them. So, um, but, uh, oh, I guess, so, uh, something I kind of wanted to put out there, I guess, uh, real quick. Um. I don't know. I can't. I don't know about everyone else out there. Most people might do the same thing as like me, like me. Um, but uh, I I like to research stuff, guys. I like to um, I like to uh, better myself, grow as a person, um, and um, 
I've been thinking I want to make a video I think in June or July um, I want to make a video about uh, my first year and the experience living in the RV um, but one thing I've, I've come to realize not not having to um, slave at work you know every single day and blah 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 uh, I seem to have more free time and with that more free time um, you I, it's hard to explain I'm, I'm sure other youtubers have talked about it as well but it seems that you you're you're not so worried as much as as if you had a mortgage or, or a apartment um, you don't have to worry about uh, being evicted if you can't come up with the money you know uh, but yeah so I've, I've just been having this free time and, and it just feels like my my mind is like Poof, you know it's there are so many um, so many things I, I I'm starting to realize that my creativity is coming back to me almost like as if I was a kid again you know uh, that's something that we lose as we're as we grow into adults we start to lose our creativity and um, and stuff like that um, but yeah uh, back on to the subject here I like to research stuff uh, I like to go on Google and stuff um, like old sayings like um, yeah, the old saying, you're going to hell in a handbasket, for instance. This is one that um, that I wanted to research. I think it was about a year or two ago. I was like, I was like, where did that even come from? This is a fun thing to do, guys. If you can come up, if you can remember or think of any kind of sayings like that, and just Google it and, and, and research it. Uh, for instance, going to hell in a handbasket. Um, put in the comments what you think that means. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, okay? <laughs> so that so that phrase either came out around the time or it came out talking about the time, dark ages or whatever. So anyway, um, when you are sentenced to death, the guillotine comes down and cuts your head off, and your head falls into the basket. So you're going to hell in a hand basket. So I, I really like researching stuff like that, and um, and I also don't. I also try not to um, um, put my foot in my mouth, you know. Before I before I jump to conclusions or before I start to think uh, this or that, I like to make sure that I know what I'm talking about before I do that. Um, I don't know. I guess for instance, well, now I'm not going to talk about it because it's. Uh, <laughs> I kind of promised myself. Um, that I wouldn't uh, that I wouldn't do that anymore but uh, anyway that's what I like to do guys I like to make sure I know what I'm talking about before I um, before I just, just open my mouth or uh, um, you know and if I don't and if I don't if I'm and if I'm not sure about a subject then I won't I won't say anything I won't argue any facts about it but if I know I'm right I want to say something that hey I'm right or whatever you know I, I've been proven wrong though so um, right but I do but yeah so I like to I like to make sure um, if I have a, uh, a comment about something or something other um, it's definitely a good idea to make sure you know what you're talking about Ooh, my battery's getting ready to die anyway I'm gonna stop rambling on I uh, hope you guys had a good day and I hope you see me soon. See ya.